The subject of this maintenance tip is the vacuum pump, the engine driven vacuum pump that was mounted on these older Mercedes diesels, and specifically the pump that was introduced in the US market on the 1980 models, like you see here, and ran up to 1985. This was an improvement over the older design. Let me show you. The older designs had a diaphragm like that. And this diaphragm would pump up and down, and eventually it would crack. You can see the crack right here in this one. I'm sure those of you who've been around these old Mercedes diesels for any length of time, you've probably replaced a few of these rubber diaphragms in these older style pumps. Well, in 1980, they released a piston style pump that you see here, but it is not without its own set of problems, and it's primarily due to age and mileage. These are highly reliable, but we've got engines like this that are, that are getting two, three, four hundred thousand miles on them. So if you have a 1980 to 85 Mercedes diesel, this is something you need to pay attention to. And I'm going to go over in this video some of the problems that you may run into. Number one, noise. If you're hearing any weird clanking, rattling, rumbling noise from the front of your engine and you can't isolate it, you need to remove this vacuum pump right here. And I'm going to go over some of those problems later in this video that will cause excess noise. And if it's not taken care of, this can disintegrate on you when you're on the open road. The first thing you need to know is that these pumps have what's called an external check valve right here. It's located on the outlet line of the top of the pump, and this is replaceable without having to take the pump off the engine. When this check valve fails, and you'll find that you'll have to be braking very hard, your door locks won't work, any other vacuum related uh, things on your car will stop working. And this one's very easy to inspect. Usually what happens is internally here it just comes apart. So if you take this line off, look down in this hole, and you don't see this little X or this little check valve in down in there, it means it's gone and you're going to have to replace this. These aren't inexpensive, new, but we do carry these used on my website. Removing the pump is not difficult. You have these Allen bolts that hold it to the front of the block. So I've already removed most of the pump. I'll just take and pull this last bolt out so you can see how this comes off. You do have to be really careful when removing this that you don't round out the heads on these Allen bolts. So I'm going to explain another little tip here. Make sure you thoroughly clean out any grease and crud down inside the hex of that bolt before you insert the Allen wrench to remove the bolts. If you round them out, you're going to have to get them out either with a vice grip or a small chisel that you hit right on the side here and try to rotate by hammering against the head of this bolt. Upon removal, one of the first things you want to check is this cam right here. You notice this cam you know, goes down, comes up, goes down, comes up. This is what provides a pumping action. And if this wears out, you'll get a lot of rattling and you'll also possibly destroy the pump. So if you've got a destroyed pump, you need to look at this first. The other thing you want to immediately check is the ball bearing right here. This ball bearing will disintegrate and the cam will start riding on this bracket and that'll really make a lot of noise. The other thing is a broken spring down in here. This should not be loose. If it's loose, it means your springs are weak or broken. So once you've inspected that, then you can take it over on the bench and any further inspection will require that you take it all apart. Now I'm gonna take a few of these apart and I'm gonna take you over to the bench and I'm gonna show you some of the other issues that you might have with these pumps. Let's take another look inside this pump. I mentioned the importance of checking for any looseness in this bracket that holds the bearing. If this moves up and down, it's going to mean that your springs have either weakened or they're broken. So this is real important. Now these parts you're gonna see here are not available new or separately, but I do have a number of good used parts that we are selling on my website that you can help you overhaul your particular vacuum pump if it's not that bad. The other thing is when you have a problem with this bearing, sometimes it's not just the bearing, but it's, look at that, look at the metal right there. This actually flattened out right here and we've got metal that's worn off. So what's going to happen is this bearing is not going to be rotating as it moves up and down on the cam. 
which is of course going to wear out the cam as well. So you really want to look at this closely, not just for the bearing, but also for the surface right here to make sure it's smooth and it's not showing any signs of wear like this one here. This one's going to have to be thrown away. There's no way I can replace this. One of the other problems I've seen is broken pistons. What happens is this bolt, which comes up through the piston, starts to wear the nut loosens and this will break out right here. If caught early enough, it won't completely destroy the pump. You usually pick that up right away by a real loud clanking noise at the front of the engine. So we have a few of these good used pistons available with good sealing rings. Now, that's a real plus because if you've tried to get an overhaul kit for these type of vacuum pumps, it's very expensive from the dealer. And then the other problem I've seen is cracked or damaged covers. Sometimes uh, when this bolt loosens up, this will come up and hit and it'll break or crack the cover. So I have three or four of these good covers available. So if you're looking for resources, instructions, overhaul kits, used parts for your vacuum pumps, be sure and visit mercedesource.com. I'll put some links in the description of this video below.